Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. It's Sunday, so that means it's time for another week's weigh in. All right, everybody, happy Sunday. Um, sorry if the lighting's a little bit weird. It's kind of almost the middle of the night. It is 4:19 in the morning, um, hence why it's dark outside. Uh, I couldn't sleep. I've been having really a lot of issues with insomnia lately, and it's been no bueno. But despite all the insomnia, despite everything that's been going on at work, like I think I explained to you guys last week what was going on. Basically, this past week was a repeat performance. Every day that I thought, this is the day I'm going to be able to have a normal shift, blah, 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 something happens. So... I worked a ton extra this week, which is great money-wise, great activity-wise, and great for the fact that I was at home bored eating extra food. Um, but I still stayed within my calories. I did have a bad day Tuesday. Tuesday was my first day off after all of the craziness. And it was an emotional day. Um, it was just a bad day in general. I did buy this shirt that day though, so hey. Oh, something. Um, uh, or, yeah, I think I bought this shirt that day. Or I bought a pair of shorts. I don't know. I've been buying some clothes lately because I have lost a lot of weight. And so a lot of my clothes don't fit or they're very, very baggy. And I am trying to find my style. I, I'm slowly changing myself as time goes on and my style and taste of changing. So, yeah. Um, either way, I was able to do that, but it was a bad day. And then I had therapy and therapy while super, super helpful, it brings out a lot of emotion. It brings out things that I need to work on and that I need to deal with. But that means it's things that I've been buried that I haven't dealt with that are very triggering, very emotional for me. And it can leave me in a not so great headspace. So I decided that I was going to eat my feelings again. It's been quite a while. Okay, not a quite a while, <clears throat> but it's been a little bit since I have eaten my feelings. Norm lately, I have been doing a lot better with that, but I did. But luckily, I didn't go too crazy. I ate more than I should have, for sure. It was like the kind of where you're. it's hard to track because... You're kind of grabbing a little bit of this, grabbing a little bit of that, grabbing a little bit of that, and then ordering something from the pizza place that you can track at least that, but the rest, you don't know how much you had. You don't know how many tablespoons or portions or anything like that. So I couldn't fully track what it was. So I just did a guesstimate and lowered my calories the next few days, but not like hardcore low. Like literally I lowered them to like 1500. Still plenty of food. Can still have steak, still have potatoes. I've had a latte every day this week, not a latte, uh, a sweet vanilla cream cold brew with uh, either caramel syrup added or whipped cream added, one or the other, I don't do both. Um, and still got to enjoy food. I've been loving my imperfect foods. I really need to actually do a video for my imperfect foods. Maybe this Thursday, since I am off, I will do that because I'm gonna have to drive out to work to grab it. But other than that, um, I should be able to be off. Fingers crossed, guys, that I'm off this week. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be taking three vacation days, but I have a strong, strong gut feeling that's not going to happen. So cross your fingers, pray for me, whatever. Um, I really need a little break. But at the same time, I need the money, so I'm not going to complain too much if I do have to work. All right, so anyway, I'm rambling, way in video. I really am surprised that I was even able to wait four minutes to get into my weigh-in because I stepped on the scale today. Well, technically I stepped on the scale yesterday, Saturday morning, but I just checked and it's the same. So I guess you could say today. I stepped on the scale and I'm now 276.8. I don't know if you guys remember, but I started at 376.8. So that means this week I lost 1.8 pounds, but that means total I am down 100 pounds. My body has lost 100 pounds. And um, 
definitely a lot more visible, but especially because I do have my sides a lot shorter and no beard. I'm like, the beard I got because it hit my extra chins, but I realized that it's kind of was also making my face look a little bit more round. And I'm not hating the no facial hair. I'm probably gonna grow the facial hair back. But I just wanted to see what's underneath. And honestly, like I was wanting to check if I had the double chins. And it's like barely, it's like, I mean, it's barely. And if I'm like, mm, like then they're there. But it's not like before when it was like all hanging down. So I'm happy with that. Sorry, that was kind of weird to do, I don't know. But yeah, I'm down 100 pounds. I'm super excited, I'm super stoked. I'm very proud of myself because after that Tuesday debacle, I had gained like five pounds that day. And I was able to, well, I don't know if it was exactly five. I did not, I refused to weigh in the next day because why put yourself through you know, all that unneeded depression? So I didn't step on the scale the next day. I'm assuming it was like five pounds because come Thursday, I was still up like three pounds. So from Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, well, nah, three days. Um, well, to yesterday, actually, so two days. By behaving and being very active, I mean, I think working open to close probably helped, but I was able to get those extra three pounds off, get back to where I was last Sunday, and lose 1.8 pounds more. And, is that her? No? Yeah, cat's being extra. Ghost is very affectionate and very needy. Come on, come on, come on. He's wanting to attack me. He's not wanting to cuddle, he wants to attack, sorry. He keeps trying, I don't know. There we go, there's ghosty boy. Um, so yeah, so I was able to do it. And believe me, like there were times, especially after I did such a bad job on Tuesday, that I was like, I might as well just eat what I want because there's no way I'm going to have a loss this week. No way. The amount of food I grabbed, the extra large pizza that I ate, an entire extra large pizza, went in me. Hey, sir, no biting. Um, but yeah, so, okay, if you're going to do that, go on. He wants to play. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna cut this video short because I'm gonna. He just bit my elbow. Just bit my elbow. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm happy. I have quite a bit of ways to go still, um, but I am on my way. And honestly, like having different clothing, I've realized how much I've lost. I don't think I realized because a lot of my clothes were a lot baggier and stuff, they weren't quite as, this is, you know, meant to be flowy, but it's still like kind of hugs a little bit tighter. And even a customer, like when I was walking by, she was like, wait, hold up, hold up, your side profile. Like, it's that rather than it used to be like that. Like it was huge. So yeah, I'm rambling. I don't, I don't know. I am just very, very happy about my way in. One of these days I'm gonna actually do a more talk about my mental health issues. Uh, Cause in that aspect, not doing so great, but I'm making some great strides. So I'll get into detail on that later. Also, this I just built. I did a great job and he loves it already. Like I'm very happy that already he's loving it. But yeah, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna have to leave it here nor there. I'm happy about my way in and excited and thinking that I can hit my goals. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. I don't know when I'm gonna talk to you guys next. Maybe next weigh-in video. Maybe I'll actually do another video. Impossible Foods, Mental Health, not Impossible, Imperfect Foods, uh, Mental Health, something like that. I'll see. Either way, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.